I'm excited! Me excited? Come on! Come on, when does that ever happen? Me excited? Come on! When does that ever happen? Tell me, when, when, when? I'm never excited! Okay, right now I'm very excited. Extremely excited. More excited than I've ever been in my whole life. Well, that's a bit of a lie because I get excited quite a lot, don't I? Well, today especially. And why? Well, I'm going to show you. Right now. Wait for it. Can you read that? You read right, and I'm holding it right. It's a Super Famicom box, baby. That's what I got. In my hands right now. That's what I got. In my hands right now. And it's goddamn heavy. I don't put it down. But how? Where? When? For how much? And most importantly, why? Well, that's what you're here for. To find out how I got it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you how I got it. Oh, and um, just one more thing. There's not going to be any fancy montages in this video. It's just going to be me and you talking. Just me and you talking. That's it. Just me talking, actually, and you listening. Not you talking. It's me talking. You listening. Quick edits. Quick shots. Action packed. Me and you, we're in this together. Me and you. But before I get it all set up, we need to backtrack a few days. To explain my story. It was a beautiful day. The sun was out, the birds were chirping, and you know, the ducks were swimming. And it also looks like Stacy was happily waiting. And I was almost dancing, as usual. I was light on my feet that day, I can tell ya. When does that ever happen? Have you ever seen me dance before? You don't want to get me too excited about something, that's for sure. And guess what, today, on this day, I was very excited. Now every time I go to the shopping centre, I get there really early, and I sit on these very seats, these very benches that you're seeing right now. Like a fox, preparing for the hunt. So every week I sit at these benches, I always see families walking past the store. And every single time, every single week, there's always a family that walks past. And it's always the dad, well sometimes it's the mum, but it's most of the dad that stops in his tracks and looks at the window and he goes, Hey kids, that's the consoles that I grew up on. And it's just funny that people who aren't into collecting have the same memories that I have. Yeah, sure, I'm into all this stuff still. But most people have moved on and grown up a little bit because, you know, well, let's face it, I'm not all grown up. I'm a little bit of a kid still, and that's great. I love it. I love the inside kid of me. And But a lot of people have really, truly grown up compared to me. And most people that have grown up, they kind of remember this stuff, but they don't really go on with it in their lives. I went on with it in my life, but most people really didn't go on with it kind of like just left behind where I'm still behind a little bit and I'm still like am in the future as well it's like I'm in the future and in the past but I also walked into the future as well but still in the past but I still walked into the future in the past I'm in the future in the past does that make sense I'm sure if you know what I'm talking about it's going to make sense. If you know what I'm talking about, of course it's going to make sense. If you don't know what I'm talking about, well, I guess it's not going to make that much sense, is it? Yeah. But hopefully you get what I'm talking about. Alright, let's move on with this. And now this is the present, me talking to you about the past and the future. In the present. Yeah, that makes sense. Come on, that makes sense. You get what I'm saying. You get, you get what I'm saying, though. Is it me, or do I always talk this much? Let's just keep rolling with this, and see what else they have in store for me. Sometimes I just keep filming, and I don't know what I'm going to say. And then when I watch it back later, I'm like, did I say that? But obviously I did, because I'm there saying it on the screen. And I don't remember saying it, but I know I said it, because I'm watching myself say it. So... <clears throat> what was I going to say? <laughs> Come on, man, think. Think of Stacy Boo. I see you. So, I've been going to this shop for quite a few years, maybe about two years now, and every single time I go in there, I see this item, the Super Famicom box. And the price always seemed to be a little bit out of my price range, considering that the sticker price was always at 500 Australian dollars. 
but everything else was always up for grabs. And believe me, I grabbed. With my own two hands. The games behind the glass, the ones out of the glass. The ones I can touch and hold and see if I want to buy it for today. And it actually is a really nice store. With a surprising amount of variety that spans across all generations. All in the one place. It's got like a wall of PS2 games. And if you love the PlayStation, it's got so much Sony gear in there. It's like Sony heaven, really. PS2, PS3. If you can Sony number name it, it'll be in there. Somewhere. It's got Sega, Sega, where have you come from? I come from, where I come from, it says Sega. But where you come from, most people come from, it says Sega. You're probably sounding a little bit confused right about now. Or is that just me? Because we always say Sega. And apparently you're supposed to say Sega. Because the Master System used to be huge in Australia. And we never heard the iconic Sega. But even when we did hear it, we never said it any different anyway. So when I first went there a year and a half ago, I did ask them if I could pay it off because $500 was a pretty big price just for one item. And I personally had only been in this store a few times because I only just found out that this place existed. And I said, oh, we don't really do that. And I was cool with that because I knew, you know, it's a new store and, you know, they don't really know me. So I can see why they said, ah, oh, no, not really right now. So fast forward a year and a half later to now. As I was in there recently to buy some more games. I was standing there at the counter as I was waiting to pay. As I turned my head, looking, as it was there, staring right back at me, thinking. I can't stand this anymore. I have to ask them if I can pay it off or something. I, I, I need this in my life. I need this Super Famicom box in my life. I need it. I need it in my life. Right now. I don't care what it takes. I'm not leaving without this thing. Well, that day I did leave without it because they said, yeah, you know what? You've been coming in here buying stuff. So do you know what we're going to do? We're going to let you pay it off. And we're also going to give you a $50 discount. So I got it for $450 Australian. $450 Australian. Which is the price of four brand new games and a remaster. Or a remake. They also let me shoot in the store too, which was just an added bonus. And I also like to say that that's not why they gave me the discount. They didn't actually realise that I was doing a YouTube channel. So I brought the camera in. I'm sure the thing is something's up. I did ask them the week before, but when they gave me the discount, I never told them that I did a YouTube channel. They just did it because they're nice people. And they did notice that I was actually spending money in their shop, buying up a lot of their rarer items. But obviously not that, because it's still sitting there. So then they said, We'll give it to you for $50 off, just to be nice. They gave it to me just to be nice. That was their whole purpose. Not because I did a YouTube channel, not because they're going to get something out of it. No, because they were nice. That's as simple as that. Because they were nice. Now isn't it nice when someone is nice? I think it's nice when someone is nice, don't you think? Well, that's nice. So we come to an agreement that left big smiles on all of our faces. Just like this one. Which really got my heart pounding. My heart was pounding. And for once I was quiet because I was just keeping it calm, cool and collected because I wanted this deal signed, sealed and delivered. And it's delivered. I finally got it here in my house. Delivered. It's here. This is where it is. Right here. It's right next to me right now. I'm touching it. I'm feeling it. And it feels so good. It's big and it's bulky. It's slightly coarse, but it's nice and smooth. It's black. It's sexy. It's everything I dreamed of. In my dreams, it's how I see it. Okay, it's getting a little weird, but I am a little weird. Let's face it. Come on. <laughs> You're not here because I'm normal. Who's here because I'm normal? Put your hand up. I don't see any hands. I don't see any hands. No one's here because I'm normal. Just ask my wife how normal I am. Actually, don't ask my wife what I'm like. She might tell you the truth, which is um, what you're seeing right now anyway. <laughs> She's just gonna reaffirm it. If that's what you like, you know what? Stick around, because I'm not going anywhere. Look, I'm in this room. I'm just gonna trap myself in this room. I'm not gonna move anywhere. I'm like locking the door right now. I'm stuck here. I'm just gonna make YouTube videos constantly now for the next few years. Is that okay? But I just keep the cameras on for me in a whole year. Hey, that's a great reality TV show, isn't it? Me stuck in this room. For a year, the camera's on. I just keep, I've got plenty of batteries, I just keep charging batteries. 
And the lights going too, so I'll keep everything going. I'll just stand here for a year talking to you guys. Constantly! Let's do a live stream! A year stream! Let's do a whole year live stream! I'll just stand here for the lights on. I'll just keep everything running for a whole year. I've got solar panels on the roof. I'll just keep everything going for a year! Hey look! Okay, that's my new home guys. Okay, I'll stay right here. Okay, no shells, nothing. This is it. Oh, wait a minute. How am I going to play the games? That's alright, it's okay. Let's talk about it. I'll run for each game. Okay, we'll start from the um this shell. We'll go for each game. And we'll talk about every single game, what happens in each game. That might take me a year, because once I get through the shells, I've got the drawers to go through. And then I've got the consoles and the covers, up high. And the ones up here too, you can't see them on the camera, but I'll bring them down so you can see them. What the fuck was I talking about? If you see something you like, leave me a message and I'll, I'll bring it out off the shelf and we can talk about it. God damn spaces. Alright, we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about the Super Famicom box, okay? So let's move on. And after all this time, I would have thought this would have been sold for sure by now. But I guess I was wrong. I'm actually glad I got this on camera to prove that I'm actually wrong about something. Maybe my wife can watch this video and say, you know what? You were wrong once. And we got it on video. Have a look at this video that you made and you admitted on camera that you were wrong about something. And right now, you are wrong about this. Because I did not think that it would be still sitting there one year later. One and a half years later, almost two years later, I was wrong. Me. I was wrong. Calm yourselves. I'm calm. Calm yourselves to find that piece of information out that I was wrong about something. Please, settle down. Dry those tears. Dry them because I was wrong about something. I know. This, this day had come. I knew this day was going to come eventually. And here we are, me, standing here, in front of you guys, wrong about something. And I was glad, I've never been so glad to be wrong about something. Thank God I was wrong about something. Thank God I was wrong about this situation. That's a goddamn miracle that I got it in the first place. Don't get too excited, it's just a console. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, as if I'm not going to get excited over it. Who's not going to get excited over it? Well, I guess a lot of people did not get excited over it because it was still sitting there in the store. Or maybe they just saw the sticker price and thought, huh, well, that's a bit too much. To buy these in the US or Japan is like $750. US. USA. Now, I'm sure. Now, I'm quite positive. If you went to Japan, Japan. you probably actually could buy one of these in the wild. Right. But in Australia, much harder to do. Extremely hard to find. This console was never sold to the public, so you can see my excitement for it. When something's not sold to the public and I've got my hands on it, oh, my hands are on it, baby. Oh, it feels so nice in my hands right now. That's why I'm going to get excited over something. That's why I'm going to get excited over something like this, because I know how rare it is. Because it was never sold to the public. I just said that 50 times already, but I'm going to say it one more time. It was never sold to the public, so that in itself makes it rare, doesn't it, really? The only way to get one of these was to steal them. Basically, or, or when the hotels were finished with them, they sold them to the public then. You know, but, okay, I didn't live in Japan, so the chances of me getting a hold of one of these, yeah, pretty slim. Pretty slim, I would say, from where I live in the world, and um, considering I don't really speak Japanese or even knew what it was at the time, the chance of me really owning one of these back in the day, very, 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 very small. Even the chances of me owning one of these now, really, honestly, where I live right now, very, very, very small. But it's not about the size, it's more about getting lucky. So you get the idea. It's not something you just walk past and say, Hey look, I'm going to go out and buy a Super Famicom box today. I might go browse this window. Oh wait a minute, in this case, I literally did walk into a shop and see this behind some glass and walk into a shop and say, Hey, I'm going to buy a Super Famicom box today. That happened. To me, that happened. And here I am, getting lucky. And just take a look as I hold it in my hands. Whoa, this is... So heavy! <laughs> I didn't think it would be so heavy, but it looks so nice in my hands. Checking it out, making sure it's all in order. Thinking to myself, hmm, I wonder if this thing actually does work. I actually almost did ask him that. You know, it's a nice price, so it does work, right? And yeah, sure, it's a little bit dinged up. It, it was in a hotel, and in all honesty, who of us isn't a little bit dinged up? When you think about it, who of us isn't a little bit dinged up? I know you're looking at me right now thinking, oh, I'm a little bit damaged, but I've always been a little bit damaged. Come on. Look how nice it is. How do you not like this thing? How do you not be happy? How can I not be happy right now? I'm ecstatic. 
right now in my hands is a Super Famicom box, and I'm ecstatic. I can almost feel like dancing in the store, but I didn't want to look stupid. Well, it's time now to get the show on the road. Hey, wait, where are you going? I'm just trying to work out which side to shoot from, but you know me. But you know what? All four sides here look pretty good to me. As Stacy says, be careful with that. Oh, don't worry, baby, I'm not going to drop it. Whoa, whoa. Be careful. Do not drop it. I know it's a little bit heavy, but don't drop the damn thing. You've only been waiting for this for two years. You've only been paying it off for the last five weeks. You've only been waiting for this for your whole life, but you didn't even know it. Now you know it. Now you got it in your hands. Now you're taking it home. And I feel like dancing in the street. But not too much, because I don't want to look too crazy. I mean, people don't understand what's going on here. I'm walking through the streets, and people don't really understand what's going on here. We all know. My wife knows. But they're like, why is this guy carrying this box to the shop? There's something wrong with him? Only if I knew the real truth. Only if I knew, really. Only if I knew the truth. Only if I knew what it actually is. I knew what it was, and I was so happy to have it in my hands. <sighs> Only if they knew what I had. Only if they knew. Alright. Let's get it started. Okay, so, here's the big moment. Is it gonna work? Who knows? For that price, I'd be surprised if it does. But you know what, at the same time? Here's hoping. <laughs> so now... I'm going to plug in the AV cords at the back as I move on to the power where it all ends up back into the TV. Don't forget to use the step down converter. Step down converter ready? Remember what happened last time with the Dreamcast. <laughs> this is just going to be me, the TV and a Super Famicom box. No fancy capture cards, just me, the machine and the TV or the camera. With hardware based on my favourite console of all time. The first time I clicked it on. And what comes up on the screen? This. the games that I was expecting, I've got to be honest. Hey, I can't second guess myself here, I've got to actually start playing it to find out how many games it actually does have, so we're going to turn it on in a second if it does work, we're going to find out how many games it actually does have to play. Even though I'm pretty sure it's the only games anyway. <laughs> Super Mario World F-Zero, maybe Pilot Wings, let's guess. Super Mario World F-Zero, Pilot Wings, Sim City. what would the fifth one be? Something that's going to be so obvious in my head. Zelda, maybe, yeah. Okay, let's find out. That's my guesses. I actually don't know. I really genuinely don't know. But I'm going to guess those five games. Let's see how right I was or wrong. Well, I do try to guess, but guess what? I get it. Wrong, 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 wrong. Apart from one, really. Well, almost. I said Super Mario World, but it's actually Super Mario Collection. Which is not Super Mario World, but it is Super Mario. I am shocked to realise that there is no F-Zero. I really did think... There would be an F-Zero in this collection of games on the Super Famicom box. Also, what I did find out on the internet is that there are different versions of the Super Famicom box with different types of games. But my high speed hopes quickly crashed them burn. Still no F-Zero. <laughs> but I guess they do have Super Mario Kart, so that's like their racer. So I do guess that we're getting a variety. But there are two platformers, so I don't know. Man, uh, you know, once again, Nintendo Shaft, F-Zero. Once again, Nintendo Shaft, F-Zero. But you know what, it's okay. I've got my own copy, I've got two copies actually of F-Zero, so I'm not missing out, I'm not missing out, but the people at that time might have been missing out on F-Zero. Nintendo's memories might be fading of F-Zero, but don't worry, the games are still here, but I am left with only a few options to move on with. It's okay, you know what, there's a lot of Japanese writing on the TV screen, I don't know what it's exactly saying. It doesn't matter if I can't read the writing or not, as long as I can read the pictures on the screen, that's all that counts here. Because once I click on the pictures when I play the game, I assume that's how it works. It'd be funny if it charges me. <laughs> Some Japan hotel's gonna send me a bill. You've been playing our Super Famicom box. Yeah, these things were built for the future, man. <laughs> we're tracking you. We've got a GPS tracking on this from back in those days. Yeah, we're gonna send you the bill for this. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go with the first option, I guess. Which does what exactly? This. It's kinda hard to read the picture. Well, I can read this picture. No problem. And the writing apparently is on the wall. Or, in this case, the side of the box. Insert some money to play the damn thing. 
Go grab the key from the counter because you can't play it without the key. <laughs> Anticlimactic or what, baby? <laughs> okay, let me be clear about this. So this first screen tells me that I need to get a key from the lounge downstairs in Japan in the 1990s. So, as you can tell, I am not in Japan. This is not the 1990s and there is no lounge. But what my Japanese friends do tell me is that there are other options. It gives me five options. So the fourth option it tells me on that screen is to play the demo. So what am I going to do? I'm going to play the demo. That's what I do right now. I'm going to play the demo. Which gives me about a minute worth of play. So here I go. For the first time, I'm going to play a game that I've played many times before, for free, on my own console. But I'm now going to play for a minute, for free. And now the countdown begins. As the music creeps in from the background, it builds the tension for what's about to happen as it all comes together Goodbye. as one. By the way, there are ways to modify the hardware to get around the key. But you know what? I didn't buy it to modify it. I didn't buy it to play these games. I know that sounds completely crazy. Coming from me, that sounds completely crazy, but that's not what I bought it for. I bought it for what it is. I didn't buy it to change it. I didn't buy it to modify it. I bought it for what it is. But hurry, quick. The clock is still ticking. Hey, I thought you said no fancy montages. Ah, uh, who cares? I didn't buy this for financial gain either. I didn't buy this to sell. I bought this for me. This is a representation of something from my childhood that I never even knew about. Even though I didn't know what it was until about 10 years ago, it means something to me. The Super Nintendo means something to me. This is a part of me, and I never even knew it. And that's why I bought it. Well, you know, you're going to forget after you watch this video, but I'm going to remember it for a long time anyway. So, you might forget about it, but I'm not going to forget about it anytime soon. I'm still here, looking at it on the shelf, thinking, oh, you know what, I once played that. There's actually a little bit more to it than that, but that's just the gist of it. That's the big gist of it. That's in the big scheme of things shrunken down to a little tiny video for you to watch in a good amount of time. It doesn't take an hour or a week, which I'm sure I could do a week's video on this whole saga. But for now, it's just a little tiny video for you to watch and for me to talk about, because I love talking about things that I buy and I like talking about myself. That's one of the things I love talking about the most, is things that I buy and myself. Come on, let's be realistic here. Everyone likes to talk about themselves just a little bit. Me maybe a little bit more than usual than other people, but you know what? That's just how I am sometimes. No, don't be so modest. I'm not a fool, okay? I know that sounds. But, you know, it's alright. Do you like talking about what I buy? I mean, I like talking about it. Do you like hearing about what I buy? Well, I like talking about it too. You like hearing about it, and maybe I like talking about it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Look, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Stop, 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 stop. Calm yourself. Get into the Zen mode. Ninja mode, ninja type mode, then. Let's talk about this like adults. Like people that talk to each other in normal situations. In an unnormal situation. Let's talk about this in a nice, normal situation. But I never put myself in a normal situation. Remember last time? Terminate. That's my kind of normal. Terminate the turtle. And it worked out well for everybody. Terminate the turtle. Look who's back. Beware your enemy. Terminate! Terminate! Terminate the turtles! Beware your enemy. I'm sure people are watching me at the window too. I'm actually quite convinced of it. And that's kind of scary because they're going to think I'm a little bit nuts. But we don't want them to think that now, do we? I know you're looking at me right now thinking I'm a little bit damaged, but I've always been a little bit damaged. I came out of the box like this. <laughs> oh my god. You cannot put that joke in, man. You can't put that joke in. <laughs> Oh my god, no, I did not mean that. Oh, no, 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 that is not going in. Oh my god, no. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not actually what I meant. What you're thinking, that's, that's, that's not what I meant. I swear to god, 
That's not what I meant. Oh, man. No, no. No. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Reverse, delete. Out of my memory. Okay, back to reality. Well, that was the reality. But back to the reality of me not saying that. Because I didn't say that. Okay, I did not say that. Okay, I did not. Did not. Did not. Did not say that. I did not. Did not say that. I didn't mean to say it like that. I actually meant like out of the box. Out, like out of one of these boxes. <laughs> I'm still talking about it. Stop talking about it. Stop talking about it. Please right now. Stop talking about it. Please. Stop talking about it right now. So you ended up putting it in the video anyway. Ah, oh, you crazy bastard.